Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about relationships and letting go <laughs> the sad parts of relationships or the ends of relationships. I believe everything in life happens for a reason. Things that happen in our lives are usually there to teach us something or to make us grow and definitely not to punish us in any way. If there is such a thing as a God or the higher consciousness or call it whatever you want, its only interest is in our growth. And we are also part of that higher consciousness. So our growth is basically the God's or universe's growth as well. Imagine yourself as a single cell of your body. That would be what we are to the God or to the universe or whatever you name it. Universe wants us to grow. It is in his or hers interest. On the day my mother died, I was cursing the name of God or universe or whatever you call it. I was cursing all their names. I felt like someone took a knife and just cut me and ripped me into two pieces. I have felt the full blow of that eternal separation between me and my mom and I just could not accept it. I did not want it. I was so angry that I decided to not accept it at all. All I wanted was to knock on the doors of heaven and ask for a refund. Like, this is not the life I want to live. This is not fair. And add a number of curses after that because I don't want to curse the universe anymore at this point. However, resisting separation actually hurt me more than the separation itself. I'll elaborate on that. Universe, good teacher as it is, provided me with more separations just to make sure that I get the lesson correctly. Covid had made some of these things even deeper and more painful. Not being able to see my dad uh, for more than a year and it's been around eight years since I've seen my brother for the last time. So you see, separation is a major point in my life. I keep on finding animals that I need to separate it from even, you know, after a while, after I grew a bond with them, because I am such a type of a person. I grew a bond. Recently, the lesson became clearer to me and I feel it deep in my heart. Sometimes letting go is a deeper act of love than keeping the person you love. Let me just make this clearer. You are not letting the other person go because it's too complicated or because it's easier to uh, let them go as most people do. You're doing it out of love. You're letting them go because you really care for them so much that you would rather risk your own happiness just to see them happy. If there is such a thing called love, this would be the sole definition of it. Keeping my mother in the bed sick and in pain was just cruel and letting go was the only reasonable explanation and the thing to do. And so many insecurities rise here because I don't know where she is. I don't have any control here. I don't have the control over the things. I can't protect her like I ever could. And the same was with everyone else. We think we have the control to keep people, animals or whoever you care for safe, but life has its flow and it just flows. And no matter how many dams you made, uh, the life will find its way through and when you're done with it, you're done. And your lessons will continue on to the next one, whatever that is. We have, we think we have the control to keep the animals or people we love safe, but you know, how many times you try, it's just when you're done, you're done, you know, like life or death will find a way. As a woman, my inner instinct is to keep everyone safe around the fire, but life is something not about safety, but exploring. And you see, ships are safe in the harbor, but that's not what they're built for. You need to let people make mistakes and choose to love them still, even Sometimes that means that you're going to love them from far, far away. And some people actually don't leave forever, like my mom did, like they don't leave this plane of life, but they decide to go. I had a lot of people just becoming really distant with me after we were really close and 
you know, they did so without explanation. And I would push them, I would push them and push them to give me a reason. And still up to this point, I didn't get a reason for a lot of people. I received none. For me, that's the worst thing in life, is to lose someone without an explanation. But then looking back in life, I did the same to some people. Like, we behaved so different, we weren't a match anymore. And I just pulled away without explanation because the explanation would be hurtful. Around 10 years ago, I was still with my ex-boyfriend and it has been our 7th anniversary. Um, I truly did love him, but it just wasn't working anymore. I remember sitting with him in the balcony one summer and mosquitoes flying all around us and I, was, I just realized I don't have anything to talk with with this man. We started dating when I was 17, he was around 6 years older than me and he was the first person I can really connect to first and I really loved him, we had a strong physical connection more than anything. But as the years have gone by, he stayed the same and I started changing, you know, I started to change from a girl that was living for the weekends, going out, getting drunk and everything. I started to study music, I became the serious person and he stayed the same, he was still living for the weekend and I tried to talk with him about these things but just, he just didn't know what I was talking about. So the only thing what we had left was watching movies together and having sex and we couldn't even agree on those things, like we couldn't agree on the movies that we would watch and I realized that this can't be the man that I will be spending my life with, this doesn't make sense, you know, as we get older the gap between us is gonna get wider and we need a partner that's gonna become more of a friend than a lover. So that is a fact. You don't want to be waking up to someone you can't talk to for the rest of your life. Also, thank God I made that decision because now I have a partner that I can talk with about everything. And I can't imagine, you know, living a life without him. And, you know, with him, life is a never-ending adventure because we're so similar. You need to feel when it's time to let someone go. A lot of mothers can let their children go out of good intentions, but then keeping them in their nest for way too long and uh, some never ever leave. You know, keeping them safe but denying them happiness they deserve. Letting go of a wrong partner is also hard, but sometimes that's the thing that you need to do. The most important relationship you have is one with yourself. And we need to be true to ourselves. We need to think about what is good for us and the other people. Like my ex-partner married soon after I left him and I think his partner is, is really good for him. Like I can see them happy and they're a perfect match. Like I'm happy for him because I wasn't the person that would make him happy. And he deserves someone much better than me. You know, I would be so wrong for him. And my fiance was dating a girl before he started dating me and she broke his heart really badly. But today he thinks that's the best thing that ever happened to him because he met me after her. We feel the pain of the present moment, but we can't see where that pain is going to take us and why. So we need to trust this universe or whatever you want to call it. And of course that's not going to decrease the amount of pain we're going to feel in the present moment. But I'm going to tell you something. Feeling pain is not a bad thing. Having a broken heart is not a bad thing. We, we tend to deny emotions because they're unpleasant. We tend to take medicine just to make us feel numb. However, that's not what human being means to be. Being human being means to feel a huge spectrum of emotions. And sometimes having a broken heart, like if you watch the anime called How's Moving Castle, like sometimes having a broken heart is better than not having a heart at all. And I can tell you, I went to therapies for a couple of years just only because I couldn't feel love anymore. I denied myself love because I was fearing of people leaving me and breaking my heart and that made me emotionless and that was horrible. I, I wish at that point I could feel pain. I wish that someone could break my heart because that only would mean that I actually love someone. And you know, like if there is a reason that we are here on this planet, one of them is to experience love, I think. And sometimes Loving someone means that it's going to hurt a lot when they leave. What I want to say at the end of this lovely video that I'm making 
is loving someone and feeling happy emotions and you know just enjoying being around that person and then feeling the pain of their departure it's all part of the life and of course this part is unpleasant but then it means that this part was valid and then it was true I remember one scene in Hobbit when uh, Tremduil says to Tariel that it only hurt her because it was real and you know like having that in mind that the only reason why something hurts is because it was real and because it was love um, it kind of hit me hard there because I remember as well the departure of my mom and I was like okay I can accept it in that way that it really hurt me to let her go because our feelings like were real because our love was real and because it was real it will never ever go away it will never finish it's been eight years it's gonna be eight years ever since she died and I still feel her in my heart she left a piece of her soul in me and that part of her will never disappear and I think all of the people that we truly love in our lives, even when you remember your ex-boyfriends or whatever, they truly leave a piece of their soul in you. And even though the love is gone, the love was real at the point. And that is my comfort in letting go. Okay guys, tell me what you think about this video and I hope I hope you really liked it. And I have Two of my friends here now are going to be joining me. I really love these uh, paintings um, because they show like an inner animal or the inner shadow and make sense with my channel. I have another one in my living room and this lightning is really killing me. <laughs> um, thank you very much and if you didn't, please do subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, there are some new updates coming in. I'm working on the website, uh, focusing more on relationships and things like that. And yeah, see you soon. Bye. Oh, here you are, face to face in this tragic.